Good morning. Welcome to Twitch's Tea Tarot. I hope everybody is doing well on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Um, I am hopping on here. I am going to check the weekly energy for our horoscopes. Kind of see what's going on, what's up, how things are going. Um, I am not doing donations right now. This is just our weekly mid-energy horoscopes, okay? Um, I do do individual and private reads as well. Those are available. I do have some slots left for September. Um, if you do want a individual or a private read, you can wait until another live where I do go to who I am drawn to or the prices are listed right there in the description box for my individual readings or you can um, message me and I do have a few privates available for the rest of the month. But other than that, we're going to dive right in. I always start at the sign that we are at since we are currently in Virgo season still. Um, yes. Okay. Then we are going to go there. The end of the wheel is going to be Leo. Okay. So I'm going to dive right in. I want to see what the energies are for this week. What we have kind of coming up for the weekend as well. You can always catch my replays um, over on my YouTube. I also do have videos up for the four elements for Mercury Retrograde as well. You can check out all those videos. Links are in the bio. Other than that, fuck it. I'm tired of advertising myself. How is everybody? I love my TikTok fam. So I hope everybody is doing well. We are surviving these Gatorades. There are six right now. And just like we're happy that it's Wednesday. We're close to the weekend. Fall is right around the corner for the majority of us. Colors are changing. It's just a beautiful time of year. So, dive right in. Virgo, what is the energy for Virgo today? You are looking for a lot of unions, Virgos. Um, There is a situation that is ending or that is coming to a full completion. I feel like this has to do with a lot of interpersonal. This is dealing with interpersonal relationships, friendships, things of that nature, Virgos, because I feel like you're really diving into this union. You want to, you want to rebalance again. I feel like the last couple months, there's been a lot of imbalance on the internal aspects for a lot of Virgos. There's been growth, there's been ascension, there's been a lot, but there's also been this transition into new jobs, things of that nature. And now things are starting to balance out. You know, things are coming into fruition and are starting to really like go on this plane of understanding and logic and you're putting a lot of your Virgo energy into this okay thank you but there is a cycle that is ending that is no longer serving you okay this is something that's not going to follow you into the winter months as well with this judgment this was not an easy ending this was one where it took a lot of time it took a lot of patience and it took a lot of observing this situation there was a lot of hope in this okay there was a lot of, lot of want a lot of desire and a lot of really wanting to come together with this energy and it's just not working out energies are not aligning with this okay you do have a new beginning after that ending though this is about taking the chance, being vulnerable, and letting things flow very naturally. I know, don't shoot the messenger. I know Virgos can be very logic. They can be very like, boop, that's what it is. But I do feel like after there's a closing out of this cycle, this person, place, or thing, you're going to have a new beginning. There's going to be this beautiful energy. You're releasing anxieties, and then you're going to be stepping back into the emperor energy. For a lot of you Virgos, I feel like you're actually going to shift as far as if this is a love situation, I feel like you're going to be shifting towards like your finances, your stability, where you want to go next. Um, I also feel like there's some sort of endeavor that's coming your way as well, all right? But you got to get out of the mindset. These anxieties, all this shit is not serving you because this is also a representation of new beginnings, but it's about letting go of the cycles that no longer serve you. Okay, keep collecting those. You have tens is pivotal in your chart on this spread. So are also 20s. So if you're seeing synchronicities with 10, 10, 20, 20, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, these are your signs from your guys saying, listen, you got to listen to your intuition. You have growth. You have expansion coming, but you have to let go of no longer serves you. Okay. Gemini energy is one that's coming up. Also, pay attention to your Mars placements. Air signs are also coming up in this spread. So you could be dealing with the air sign or you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay? Um, I think Gemini is an air sign. Yes, it is. So that's why I came out. Twins also, too. That nature. But pay attention to your Mars placements. I feel like that's very pivotal for, pivotal for you when it comes to some of these answers. You have a new homecoming. 
if some of you guys are shifting broom is also a part of cleansing okay that is a very cleansing ritual for many many people it's to sweep away the negative energy and bring the prosperity in okay which came next well if you guys are going to be focusing on career this is where you guys are going to be aligning those next couple months. This is where the focus is going to lie is your stability, your growth, and your understanding. All right. August was pivotal for you. And again, twos, February. February is right there for you as well. So I feel like there's going to be a huge shift around February for you guys as well. I feel like there's going to be, honestly, I feel like there's going to be a very golden goose opportunity in February involving career. And you're never going to look back. Like, this is lifetime abundance on many different levels that I feel is coming in for you, Virgos, if you're willing to take the leap of faith, okay? So, and that is what I have for you, Virgos. Love is kind of all over the place. If you are in a situation with someone, it says embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So, that could be where the cycle's ending as well. Ego, things of that nature, old cycles, old patterns, old mindsets. All right, Virgos, so that is something that I'm seeing for you in the love department is to really be open about communication. We already know that Mercury Gatorade is all about communication, but Jupiter is also in retrograde. Venus are also in retrograde. Okay, this is also about love languages, guys. All right, so that is what I have for you, Virgos. That is what I got. All right, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. So, and I hope that that resonated for you, Virgos. A stone for you, Virgos, that you guys should be carrying around right now, honestly, is Mossa Gate as well. So, if any of you Virgos are feeling very ungrounded right now, or you're having trouble with, like, if you're into dream interpretations, things of that nature on a spiritual level, carry some Mossa Gate around you. Okay, it's at any metaphysical store, it is a very, e very easy stone to find. Okay, all right, Libra, what is the energy for Libra? What's the lesson and blessings we have coming up? Ugh. All right, Libra, so you took a stand. There was boundaries that were placed this week, okay? Um, people have really been testing your energy, Libra, as far as your balance and where you want your scales to lie. Um, I feel like this is dealing more with the workplace and just people in general, but I feel like this is more directed towards your workspace, all right? Because there is this feeling of, like, no new beginning. There's that feeling of entrapment, I guess, is the best way I can explain it. And that's the word that came out. I hate that word. Don't know why, but I just don't care for it. It's kind of like moist. Just don't like the word. Um, but I do. I feel like you're feeling really trapped career-wise. There's not a lot of movement going on. And where you want to be pentacles-wise is not where you're lying right now. And I feel like right now, it's really going through the motions. But seven is a pivotal number for you in this spread okay seven is all about prosperity abundance the things coming into fruition when the timing is right it is about this growth and expansion that's coming your way but right now libras i'm just going to cause it as a, as a season this week save your freaking money if you have an extra couple bucks save it because i feel like you're going to need it at a later date whether there's a little hiccup along the way or an expense was a little bit more than expected Start saving your money, collecting your coins, Libras. I feel like that's going to bring some balance for you as well. Because when you see that certain amount, you're more at peace with the stability going on around you. Um, I feel like your world is really going to be coming back into balance this week as well. But you're going to have to save and you're going to have to put things. The Ace of Pentacles, not a lot of movement. There is a situation that caused some conflicting energies for you as well in the workspace, and it does have to do with the group. And it also has to do with money and finances, okay? But I feel like, honestly, Libras, this is a time to step back, especially by the weekend, and just be grateful. You know, instead of these empty cups that are spilling and whatever else and, you know, whatever, hot dog water vibes, lady up there. These are the cups that need to be paid attention to. Nurture, nurture the cups that are full. Because then the other cups are going to start flowing again. These external energies aren't going to weigh on you as much as they have in previous weeks. Okay? Because I do. I feel like there's been a lot of pressure on you. You've been really solitary in this in this venture. You have the sun that's coming out. Cancerian energy is also coming up. Scorpio energy. Libras, that's about getting into the heart space. That's diving into your emotions. That's finding your balance. Doing all these things that involve 
emotions, heart space. The sun, though, for me, the sun is a wish fulfillment. That also energy of the sun is a new beginning, rebirth. It's all about growth, warmth, letting things really naturally flow. But pay attention to the heart space today. Do not let little life's irritations get the best of you. I honestly feel if you got to take a take five, take ten. If you feel like you got to step back, take a step back. There is nothing wrong with, you know, really saving your energy this week, Libras, at all. There is nothing wrong with that. Hold on. I got it. Okay. I thought I was going to sneeze. Some of y'all could be having allergies. I want to see the month that's also popping up. Matt, February must be a huge, huge month for everybody. January and February is what popped out for you guys. So this transition is happening within these two months, okay? This is already something that started in August, but this, this is where I feel like a cycle is closing out and there's going to be huge enhancement. I feel like more money is also going to be coming your way and this is where the shift takes place for your balance, your stability, and more money is going to come in, okay? As far as love, let's see what we got for love. It says, friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So if you guys are feeling not as intimate with your person or not as connected, it's time to go back to the basics of being friends. Sometimes the most beautiful things start with friendships, and that's just what it is. That security, that acknowledgement, the embraces of each other. And you know what? When you're a friend and you go into that zone, it, it allows people to be more open. You know? It's like that expectation. Aquarian energy is also popping up as well. All right. Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Bro zone it out. Girl, girlfriend it out. Like, honestly, go hang out with your people. Go hang out with your people, Libra. If you have somebody on your mind of friend that you haven't talked to in a while, things of that nature, reach out because they want to freaking say hi to you too. Sometimes life and timing just isn't fair for everybody, okay? But I do feel, Libras, you're going to hear from an old friend. If you are not going to reach out, they're going to be reaching out to you just to see how you're doing. They're ready. They want to, they miss you. They miss you, Libras. They miss you. A stone for you guys this week is Euconite. I keep on seeing Euconite. Euconite is a beautiful stone. It helps with meditation. It helps with balance. And it helps with the resurgence of the self. Okay. Euconite is also one of like a nature stone. I feel like when I look at Euconite, it's very fall-like. Um, this is the one that I have. But it's an acorn. Yes, I know. But this stone is all about... It enhances meditation. I just love that stone. So, you can I, U K A N I T E. You got there. I don't know. I swear, as soon as you start, it, it's it's U N I K I T. I got a fucking Michigan education, dude. I'm sorry, I couldn't spell to save my life. Literally, so. I can't lie. I have a problem with my I's and my A's and certain, like, when it's involving certain stones. I know the properties. I know what they mean. But to spell them out, I feel dur -dur. off kilter. Off kilter with my spelling. I have, I have education like that. All right. Scorpios. Scorpy Scorps. I am not doing personal readings right now. So I am doing the horoscopes, but you're more than welcome to catch me over on Facebook today, this afternoon. Um, and I will be answering some personal readings over there. Other than that, I will be back on TikTok tomorrow morning. Okay? And probably tomorrow evening. Scorpios, you are walking away from a situation that's no longer serving you. Okay? This could be dealing with the interpersonal relationship. This could also be dealing with a situation involving deceit and walking away. Okay, because this manifestation is not what it came out to be. It manifested. It just didn't manifest the way that it was expected, I guess is the best way to really explain it. And right now, it's really affecting the balance. All right, there's things that are going on involving stability, home life, a lot of things that are really getting shuffled around for you Scorpios right now. All right, this is, the, this is, I'm not a fan of this. 
getting out of the emperor energy that's stepping out of the masculine and going more into chaos and things like that do not let the anxieties get the best of you during this time especially this week because i feel like a masculine energy is going to test the shit out of you guys all right um it does not mean an actual male anything like that but a very strong masculine energy somebody who comes out very controlling very malicious and very like well you weren't here so what the hell do you have an opinion for type of attitude i guess that's the best way i can explain that um but i feel like this energy is going to test patience this is involving the home life this is involving the hearth and justice is not going to be served in this because whatever situation this is i feel like there's an energy that's going to succumb to this and really like cause some heart space issues okay there's going to be a little bit of heartbreak going on this week for you scorps i'm sorry that's what i'm seeing in the spread i do i feel like there's going to be a decision that may that's going to be made that's going to affect your heart space um this could be dealing with a feminine energy this could be dealing with an interpersonal relationship this is somebody very close to you in the 3d who's going to be making this decision all right and it could cause some separation it can cause a little bit of distraughtness things of that nature this week all right they're everywhere yeah tower moment again that masculine energy coming out with all that defensiveness the rudeness um this could even be narcissism i want to see what cards fell because i'm a nosy bitch hold on guys yeah i said it i am though i'm a nosy hoe i can't i can't help it oh i don't like these cards you're gonna feel like there's not a lot of movement that you're kind of stuck in this energy but you are going to escape it by the end of next week because you're finally going to look at it and be like you know what I did almost, I, I did pretty much everything that I could do besides giving up my, my soul on this one. So I think I'm going to have to walk away from this and you're going to start focusing on yourself. With that, I see more abundance coming. I see this wish fulfillment coming into fruition. Um, Some of you guys could be walking away from a relationship this week as well. Um, Because I see a lot of not aligning energetically anymore. Sometimes two good people just don't make a right couple. It happens. It doesn't mean that they're bad or this. If they caused all this conflict, all this thing. Just energetically wise, what could have aligned months ago is not aligning right now. Okay? There's a little bit of defensiveness. There's communication. And I feel like it's just the overall stress of this other situation as well. So really pay attention to where you're going with your heart space this week, Squirks. And mind your tongue. Mind your tongue. Because patience is going to be a virtue for you and not instantly how can i say this not instantly diving into a situation with with a heated head okay there's things going on between november and december these are very pivotal months for you scorpios this has also come out before november is your guys's birthday month that's a lot of going into your power having those moments for wishing things like that there's a cycle that will be ending and gone by december this energy is just as freaking silent as the first snow sound this is ending this cycle will be ending and it will be a full completion this is not a 180 thing this is a full completion where the heck are the rest there we are okay so for that week's energy, you got recognition. Reward yourself. Reward. There is nothing wrong with filling your own baskets during this time, okay? Quill, get back to the basics. Can't make this shit up. Get back to the basics. Get back to where your core is, where, you're, where you lie, Scorpios. Because at the end of this week, I feel like that boundary placement or that decision is going to force you to go into this energy anyways. Okay, you're just, it's just going to. It's something that was meant for you and just let it do. You actually received two love cards. So for me, because there was, you know, a lot of love in this situation in your main spread, things of that nature shifts. It says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Again, shadow masculine energy. Things are going to start blossoming big time when it comes to this situation. And for this, and I, these cards are both blue. Blue is healing. This is a healing color, okay? So pay attention to your blues. You could be seeing things that are also blue. If you feel like you need some inner healing or just healing in your 3D area, light a blue candle for 10 minutes. A tape your candle, put some salt around it, put your affirmation in it. 
I want to heal, blah, 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 okay? It does help. Um, I do it with a bath, so, and I do. I'll light it for 10 minutes, and I'll look at the candle, and I'll watch the flame, and be like, okay, as that's burning, I'm releasing this. I'm releasing what I need to heal. I need to allow, allow this to change, okay? You also got reflection. It says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. It will all work out for the best. Again, sometimes two good, beautiful people just don't make the right couple. Doesn't mean that there's still not love. There's still not that want of friendship. There's still not that want of understanding. But right now, Scorps, there's a lot of heart healing that needs to be done. A lot of 3D healing. A lot of 3D healing. This is not shadow, like, this is not shadow work. This is, I need to, like, the 3D needs to heal. What is is what is, and what will be will be. Okay? So, that is what I have for you, Scorps. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what is the energy for this week? What kind of lessons and blessings? Stone for this week for Scorpios. It is a protective stone. I would go with obsidian or I would honestly go with some tourmaline. The blacks. The black stones this week are pivotal for you guys when it comes to protecting your energies and just protecting your space. Okay? So obsidian. Obsidian or tourmaline. Because so, there are different variants of tourmaline. So I actually have one that has all three. It's actually pretty cool. So, all right, Sagittarius, what is the energy? You're anxious. You feel like there's not a lot of movement going on. Some of you guys could be going through an awakening or just coming out from a tower moment, okay? This is a situation that's going to really dive into your finances and your stability this week, Sagittarius. Is. Um, I'll just call it what I say. I don't see much in the love department for you guys, Sagittarius. Is. You're not focused in love. Um, even for some of you guys that are in an interpersonal relationship, you are just in the desire of wanting your companion. Understanding, but you guys are very much in this solitude energy right now. You're about collecting your cups and figuring out what the hell to do with these finances and your stability, okay? Because this tower moment hits you for a doozy. This was something not expected. I feel like even in this situation, there was one where it seemed like there was a lot of fruitfulness, growing, things of that, especially if you're self-business or things going on in a career as well. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, boop, stagnant, not really diving into a lot of things, you know, and feeling very stuck. I feel like you even are feeling blocked creatively this week, okay, Sagittarius says, but you are going to come out of this. This is about collecting. This is about opening up and allowing things to just flow. There are fucking eights everywhere on your spread. Everywhere. Out of your five cards, three of them are eights. Three of them are eights. We have eight people in the room. My phone's at 80%. There's eights everywhere. Okay? Also, I see nines and ones. But eights are very pivotal for you. Okay? Eights, I believe, is all about rebalancing, going into yourself. It's also about your financials. It's about, pro it, it's about your financials. Okay? Hello, sweetheart. How is everybody doing coming in? I hope everybody is doing well. If you're hopping in, I'm just doing the horoscopes for the week. You're releasing of a masculine energy. You're coming out. Sagittarius is, you're going to be looking at a perspective differently. All right. There's a situation and I feel like uh, you're coming up, Saggy. You're coming up. All right. So in this energy, Sagittarius says, this is your mindset. This is where you need to go next. I know that there's creative blockages going on right now and things like that, but things are going to rebalance by the end of next week. All right, you're going to gain a new perspective and you're coming out of this hangman energy. This is about taking the things, learning, and putting them into fruition. Some of you guys could be getting an opportunity with a partnership, a business transaction, things like that. I keep on feeling like a very creative project up for you guys, but it's not just going to be you. It's going to be a collective, okay? And then the shifts turn. Wheel of Fortune is in your corner. You have all these opportunities coming for you, and you're going to have more than one choice when it comes to this venture. Really look at it. Take those things into account and see what best suits you, okay? I feel like it's also going to open up the creative blockages that you guys have been feeling lately as well. 
So you received the vine. It says, seek out information that will help you. This is all about growth. This is all about expansion. Going into yourself and growing like the vine. Vines are also resilient. You know what I mean? Like, oh, thank you. But they are. Readings are resilient. And Sagis, I'm just going to call it what it is. If you need to take a day, take a fucking day. Take a day. It is okay to chill. Mental health days, days off, sick days, those are also for... And da, da, da. It doesn't mean that we got to be on the pot freaking puking our brains out going, Ugh. no. Take the day. Sit in the hammock. Go for a walk. Just take that moment for yourself, even if it's 10 minutes, and just shut the world out for a minute. Collect yourself. And I feel like there's going to be a resurgence of energy. For some of you guys, um, I feel like sleep meditation will actually help for you releasing toxins, things of that sort of nature. Um. I actually have a playlist on my YouTube channel that has a, like, hurts meditation involving releasing negative energies and things like that as we sleep. So, it's not one that you have to sit there and, like, listen to and things like that. You can literally turn it on and, boop, done. So, if you are interested in that, I do have a link over on my YouTube of one that I use when I feel very off-balanced, okay? This is the heart space. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will all work out. Sagis, I feel like this is the ego. And look at her vines. She literally has vines wrapping around her, transforming her, having her grow, being agile, being persistent, going into these beautiful transitions. I am not done jummy yet. This month is pivotal for you guys. This is the shift. The shift is in October. Why do I feel like it's October? Why did I say that? There's going to be a huge shift in October. I don't know why I said it's already October. Because I'm hopeful because I freaking love Halloween like a motherfucker. But October is where the shift is going to happen. It, might, it I feel like it's going to be near the beginning. Uh, and just be prepared. Because I really, really feel like this is going to open up some doorways for you that you were not expecting. You could be collaborating with the Virgo. Okay, this is Virgo energy. This is also Cancerian energy, the moon. The moon's about creative prospects, going out, using your emotions. It's not just all about the head space. It's also about the heart space, Sagis. Okay? That's something that I'm seeing for you this week. And pay attention to your Mercury placement. That is very pivotal for you. Okay? All right, Sagis. That is what I got for you guys this week. We'll check it out next Wednesday for sure. Next Wednesday for sure. I, sh I was going to start doing them Tuesday nights, but then I don't know. By the time the day's done, I, I am just, sometimes I'm just spent. But I am trying to get more on a steady schedule so that I come on here. But there's the truck. All right. So, because I love you guys. Just so you know. I love hanging out with all y'all. So, I do. Capricorn. Nope. My last sign will be Leo. I started at Virgo. I am not doing independent reads today. Um, and other than that, we're just going to kind of go with it. If you do like me and you would like an individual reading from me, I am scheduling privates. Um, I only have about 10 slots left for September and then I will be starting appointments in October. Uh, also you can always check out my lives over on Facebook and here I do individual free readings as well as paid. So it just depends on which live I'm at. I felt drawn to do horoscopes today. That's why I don't have a schedule because I do what I want to do when it comes to readings. If I'm drawn to do horoscopes, I'll do horoscopes. If I'm drawn to do individuals, I'll do individuals. If I'm drawn to do a retrograde, I'll do a retrograde. Meant for you, twin flame, runes, you name it. You name it. Capricorn, you are all over the fucking place. I step into your energy and I start going ADD like a mother trucker, okay? Because you're walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. This is involving your... Okay. You guys are shifting big time. This is more than just one area of your life. You're letting go of everything that doesn't serve you anymore. You're tired of the bullshit, Cappies. Yeah, I'll just call it what it is. You're tired of it. I feel like there's a situation that you've been really observing lately and it has just not worked out. You are like, I am not about this to see. I am not about this. You're not going to put the sword down my throat because I'm watching you and I know that I am not going to no longer carry these anxieties and these worries. I cannot. Um, 
I feel for some of you guys, this could be involving children or a significant other that you are really considering releasing. Um, this could also be dealing with legality and changes. All right. Um, cause justice, justice came up, but with justice, it's like it's served, but it might not be served in the way that you expected it. I keep on seeing disappointment walking away. You know, things aren't just adding up like there's despair, but there's this possibility of a new beginning. <sighs> Once this energy is released, my chest got super, super tight. So cappies, this is affecting the heart space big time. This is something, because when I stepped into your energy, not only am I becoming physically drained, my chest is starting to get really tight. Like, I have so much that I want to say. And it's like, but then when I had that moment, I'm just like, <sighs> and usually cappies are pretty upfront. Like, if they got an issue, they, they, they definitely tell you to grab a tissue. Okay? Like, they just do. They're just upfront when they need to be, period. This is unbalanced. All right, so this is an immature energy. This is what is not meant for you. And you know this. You filled these cups, and now you're realizing at the end of the day, this cups was a fish, but you do have a new beginning. It's about finding your balance because this is not in balance right now. If you guys are coupled, I feel like there's a little bit of lack of communication. There's lack of understanding. There's lack of growth. There's a lack of wanting to really dive into some of the issues and i feel like you're going to be taking a step back and diving more into self-work and healing for you this week okay cappies some of you guys could be feeling very nostalgic this week as well um things from the past keep on coming up there's love venus okay there's love that's popping up in your chart big time it's also heart space pay attention to your mercury placements because i feel for some of you cappies your mercury sign you're feeling very opposite of what the sign is so if you're a scorpio energy you know even though they're passionate and they have all this beautiful energy and creativeness it feels very hindered for you guys if you have cappy placements in it it's where you're not like your workaholic mentality is there but it's like oh my gosh i can't connect the dots like i it's like you get the puzzle fixed and you're missing one fucking piece. You're like, oh my God, seriously, I just did a thousand piece puzzle and I'm missing one piece. One, really, damn it. Pay attention to your Virgos this week. I feel like they're going to be really there for you. There's going to be an opportunity where you could possibly open up to a Virgo. Um, this is involving a friendship, things like that. Pay attention also to your Neptune placements. I'm going to see the month where there's a shift. April. April is a big month for you guys. That's also involving fours. So Capricorns, if you're seeing a lot of fours, pay attention to where those placements are. If you're seeing 444, four, four, if you're seeing 244, four, things of that nature, definitely pay attention to where those placements are. And I think, I feel like that's where your angel number is lying this week. Okay. Is in the fours. April is also one about growth, opening up, things of that nature as well. For your stone, I feel like you should really rock some clear quartz today. Um, it's all about cleansing, realigning yourself. You know, stepping out. Clear quartz is one that can cleanse kind of the whole realm. It's the go-to crystal for a lot of people. All right, clear quartz. Clear quartz, even if it's in geode form, things of that nature. Because I do have some clear quartz, but I actually broke a geode the other day, like probably about a year ago. So I have a lot of like clear quartz geo pieces, things of that nature that I have scattered throughout the house. If I do feel a little off, I always throw one in my purse or my pocket to carry it with me throughout the day. So it's a nice little cleansing stone. It's one of balance and it's one of purity. It washes it out. Okay. So that is what I have for you cappies. I am not done Taurus yet. Aquarius. Oh, I didn't do a freaking love for you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, that's a little morbid, but whatever. All right, Cappy, you said when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. If you guys are focused on some materialistic things, just remember it's always back to basics. You can't take it with you. The gates don't have a coin slot. Okay. They have a soul slot, but they ain't got a coin slot. You can't pay your way. So, pay attention to the little things. The little things, Cappies, is a big thing that I keep on hearing when it comes to that card. Okay? Sorry, I got it from the dispensary. 
I want to be like quick about it because like I totally I, I don't know I wasn't thinking this morning I just grabbed a cup I just grabbed a cup Aquarius what is the energy for Aquarius this week Jesus all right all right Aquarius is the first one's the sun nice Let's see what this is about. Oh, you got moving parts. You let Aquarius, this, this is the best fucking spread so far. Okay. I'm just going to call it what it is. Aquarius, is, you have stepped back into your I don't give a boop energy and I am just rocking my shit. Okay. You have let go of that heartache, that despair, those anxieties. I feel like there was a situation that upticked a healing process for you from your past. Closure is a big word that I keep on hearing for you Aquariuses. So if you guys have encountered somebody in the actual 3D, a person from your past where there was chaos, there was hindrances, things of that nature, I feel like that was actually brought to the surface this week or the week that just passed, okay? Um, and you're finding peace. You have that closure now. Now, it literally is a situation of it is what it is, and now I'm moving forward from it. This is an energy that's no longer going to hinder you. You got your answer, and now it's about growth and expansion. I feel for you guys, Aquariuses, this is dealing with a partner, okay? Or, again, somebody from the past, past family, past friends, something involving that, okay? But you stepped into that sun. That was exactly what needed to be done to regain this union, not only of self, but I feel like there's a resurgence of a bond, of a partnership, of things really going into growth, into fruition. You could be dealing with a Cancerian energy. The chariot is also one of having all the all the opportunities, but now it's about the movement, okay? So Aquarius, if you're feeling a little stuck this week or you really don't know where to go, just push forward. I feel like no matter which leap you really take, you have success. You have creative growth. You have opportunity. And the things that you want to man manifest are going to come into fruition. I love the sun. Best freaking, best fucking spread of the week. Not going to lie. Best spread of the week. Your guys' money is going to start rebalancing again. Again, there's creative projects coming up. There's ventures. There's letting go of that past. This closure. New beginnings, not taking the anxieties with you, allowing the cups to flow very, very naturally this week, Aquarius. I want to see what other month is coming up for you guys. March. March is also a very big month for you. Threes could also have a significance this week as well. Threes, balance, celebration, unity, things coming together. Um, And I feel like this, if it's not just a 3D, this is also the connection of mind, body, soul. Okay, you really stood your energy in your right placements. Okay, boundaries done. Freaking just, I love this energy, Aquarius. Says. It's like a resurgence. I literally step into your energy, Aquarius, says, and I feel a weight lifted off my shoulders. If you're not feeling that, expect it by the weekend because that is one where it's like it's one and done. It is one and done. You got manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow in its guidance. Okay, so that is your guidance card for the week. So it's even saying like you're going to flow. These beautiful things are going to come into fruition. Okay, you need to plan. If there's times that were very unsettled, you've done that planning. You've done that growth. You know, you need to still keep on planning ahead. I feel for some of you guys, this is involving a home improvement. Mountain, major challenges that you're overcoming. That's that closure. That's that healing. Hi, brother. I messaged you the other day on the Facebook. I think it was the other day. It felt like the other day. It could have been a month ago. I don't know. Time is fluid with me, but good morning. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. I want to, I want to see what kind of energies are coming in for you as well. Air signs are very pivotal for you. Pay attention to your Jupiter. Jupiter is also associated with Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarian placements, Aquariuses, pay attention to where those are lying in your houses. Okay? I feel for some of you guys, with these placements, your air could be in Jupiter or you have a fire sign in Jupiter. Okay? So... Also, Jupiter is about creativeness, openness, expansion, letting things go. Air signs, we already know. Air signs want balance. They want those things to come in. They're all these things that are really about coming into fruition, okay? 
So that is what I have for you guys. That is what I have for you, Aquariuses. That was a good one. Good week this week, Aquariuses. Look, love. Love came up for you guys as well. Told you balance, closure. I mean, I just, I just can't make it shit up. There is no hot dog water vibes. Like, none. There's no hot dog waters. It's nice. It's just very, very nice. I don't know why I'm, like, holding, like, 22,000 cards. Oh, because I have ADD. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Whatever. All right. Anyways, this must be Pisces energy. We scattered Pisces? About to do your sign and all of a sudden stuff is like flying out everywhere. It seems like you got a million and one projects, possibly tripped over a glue gun. I don't know why that came up, but like you have shit scattered everywhere. You are all over the place in your energies this week, Pisces. All right. Like all over. So I want to see what exactly we are being scattered about. I want to know. I want to know. Oh, hey, Google. Play music. Playing some music on YouTube music. I don't know why it's so quiet in here. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. Jesus. Okay, that is way too many cards. Pisces, y'all are scattered and in your heart space. I'm just gonna call it what it is. Um, some of you guys could be a little shallow minded this week. Um, that sounded so rude, but it is what it is. All right. What I mean by that is like your arrogance is really popping out this week, Pisces. People are not out to get you. Okay. People aren't out to get you this week, Pisces. I'm just saying they kind of want to hug you. But you're really standoffish with people. I feel like it's because of your scattered energy. You're feeling very off balance this week. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn energy, but this is also ego. This is also ego, Pisces. So you guys could be dealing with somebody in your 3D that's based on ego, dissolution, things like that. You're going to be putting your foot down when it comes to a situation, person, place, or thing this week. You receive death. Okay, that's all about closing out cycles and starting new for the positive, letting things come into fruition the way that they're meant to, but it's going to take some balls to the walls action, period. I'm going to call it as a says that it's got to take action. No talking, but also some walking with it, period. All right, because I am not a fan of this moon energy. You could also be dealing with a Cancerian energy, but this is diving into the emotions. 13 is a pivotal number for you guys. I don't know if you're seeing the number 13 or you're just like anytime that you look at a clock, it's like 213 and you're like, what the hell? You look a couple hours later, 13 is pivotal, but this, this is not serving you. Okay. You are going to be walking away from that because you are trying to seek the balance right now. Not a fan of this. This is feeling like there's no new beginning. Things are not coming into fruition as fast as you want them to. You're really stressing out about things that, you know that are going to change when they're meant to change. You're already in the process of, it's just not going in the pace that you want it to Pisces. I'm just going to call it as a season. So that's really the energy that I'm feeling for you guys. You're kind of dipping out of this feminine energy and going into this masculine energy of, you know what? I fucking got this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Don't be so snappy Pisces. Cause I'm going to call it as a season. You're kind of heading towards the down fish position and I'm not a fan. All right. Because this is where you need to control the, you need to control the outbursts, I guess is the best way I can explain it. Because I feel like there could be a situation, and this is a warning for some of you Pisces, where something that's said in anger or heated is going to bite you in the ass later. There's, or there's going to be that instant of, oh, fuck, that came out of my mouth? Oh, dude. and you're not going to know how to pick those pieces back up. There's, so pay attention to your energy. Really, really think before you speak this week, Pisces. That's a big one, all right? Do not let your emotions get the best of you because it will bite you in the ass later. I, I, I don't like those types of energies, but I do like to be open and honest when I see in the spread. All right, that's a mindset. 
that's that's a growth you could be walking away from something involving a contract or business as well if you are self-employed there's something going on with the vendor things of that nature where things are not adding up if you are not pay attention to your work home there's a co-worker around you that's kind of being eh, and i feel like that's where the snappy snaps could come okay because you're tired you, you, I feel like you really are bored with the things that are going on and you're ready to expand somewhere else. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. What I tell you guys? I mean, I literally cannot, cannot make that shit up. So, like, pay attention. And look, she's in that resting phase. And look, she looks sad. She looks down fishy. She looks down fishy. Don't let this energy get the best of you. Do not. May. May is pivotal for you. Also, that's the fifth month. Fives. Fives, you could be seeing fives. Five, five, five. But there is a transition in May. May is also one of rebirth. It also brings in spring. You know, um, especially here in Michigan, I feel like that's when, you know, a lot of blooming happens in May. You know, everybody's like, oh... April, like, you know, that's time of the spring. No, May is when the world wakes back up. And I feel like that's really going to be the energy once you kind of let this cycle die. Okay. All right, let's see what energies. There's air signs popping up in your placement as well, okay? Um, pay attention to your Mars placement. Leo is also one that is popping up, okay? So if you have Leo placements in your Mars or air signs, pay attention to those housing placements. And I feel like it's going to really guide you through this week, okay? I do. I feel like this is really going to guide you through this week. Are we... Sorry, not Aries. We're still on Pisces. What am I doing? Blah. I just, there must be something with Aries. <laughs> so pay attention to somebody that's in Aries too. My bad. I'm like, wait a minute. I am like still on Pisces. Blah. I just so happen to see, whatever. I'm scattered too. It's okay. I'm human. So that's what I have for you guys. All right. Now we're going to Aries. God of war. You must have a lot to say this week, Aries. You must have a lot to say this week. Pisces, horseshoe, good luck is coming your way, and so is good news. And I love this, great happiness. It's once that cycle ends. It's once the cycle ends. Which I feel like you're going to close out pretty darn quick. Sorry, guys. I did not mean to screw that one up. All right, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. My bad. I was in Pisces, and then Aries popped up. All right, what is the energy this week for my Aries? Aries, I feel like there's somebody on your mind. This is involving love. You're not letting fear really take advantage of this situation for you. You're stepping in more into your war godlike type of energy. One of determination, one of perseverance, one of strength, one of really warrior-like status, all right? Um, yeah, because you're collecting. There's a lot of things going on. Dissolution is no longer serving you guys, Aries. You're going into this energy of, you know what? My tower fell. I'm going through a tower moment right now. If you are not going through a tower moment, you could be approaching one. Tower moments are not all bad, all right, Aries? This is where your determination and your perseverance is going to kick in onto some high gear this week, all right? Um, because with the tower, there is new beginnings, and you're able to build the foundation that you want, not based on quicksand, but back on foundation. You're able to place your bricks exactly how you want to, and the bricks that are broken, you can release, okay? This is the energy that's not serving you anymore. I don't feel like this is a mindset. This is a person, place, or thing. Okay, um, this is one where you feel very trapped in where there's not a new beginning. This is also a situation that has stayed too long. There's been hope in this. There's been the want for expansion. There's been this want for growth. But the other energies that are conflicting are not around you. They're not aligning with you energetic wise. And I feel like you're actually going to walk away from this situation. Okay. Yep. 
you're going to walk away from this situation. I love that Aries energy also popped up in your chart. That is strength, perseverance. Again, you are going to close that cycle out and that creative flow is going to jump back in. But there is something that is going on where this you feel trapped in this new beginning. Where it's like, man, if I do this, I feel like this is dealing with, honestly, I feel like this is dealing with hearth. Hearth and home, okay? Or interpersonal relationships. Because this is just not aligning anymore. There's things that are coming in. I don't see to see, I don't feel like there's a third party energy. But I feel like you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this is a reveal of the ego. This is the reveal of a situation that is no longer serving you. And somebody was playing some tricks, okay? Somebody was playing some freaking tricks. So pay attention, Aries, to your 3D and the person that you are having an interpersonal relationship with. Um, I feel like they feel the same way, but this is a lesson learned, okay? For some of you guys, Aries, I feel like this is the same situation, different face, okay? So definitely take these lessons that, are, that you're meant to learn during this process, especially during this retrograde. And let it go. Focus on your finances this week, Aries. There is something involving your finances where a new beginning is going to happen. Um, do not let the stresses of what's going on in this interpersonal relationship get the best of you because you could miss an opportunity with this money. All right? But you do have new beginnings ahead. This is, I know, it looks horrible because the swords are everywhere. But you know what? Each sword gets released. These are the anxieties. These are the things that are holding someone back from a new beginning. This is where the heart needs to heal. This is where mindsets need to change. This is where you need to put yourself first and allow your path to go the way that it's meant to go. Not every season lasts a lifetime. That's why we have four in a year where they're meant to change. And sometimes we can look at that branch and think, oh shit, you are so strong, but it ain't. One quick when that fucker falls down and you're like, oh, okay. Just like people in life. Sometimes branches look good, but at the end of the day, a strong wind will knock them off the tree. And I feel like that's where it's at. September was a pivotal month. There was something that was shown. And if it's not going to be shown, if it hasn't been shown yet, be prepared for something to be shown this month. That's going to make you shift big time when it comes to the situation. November is when the cycle will be closing out. There will be a walking away or some sort of change, major change involving November. Okay, I want to see what else because I'm nosy. You got the peacock. Beware of great pride. So beware. Do not let somebody ruffle the feathers and sure as hell don't let them match you with some colors. Okay, archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and pathways are going to be opening up. I feel like that's where that November energy is going. Okay, so once you let that go, you release. I feel like that energy is actually going to open up for you big time. Um, if you're walking away from somebody, I don't see love being a huge pivotal thing for your growth. Um, you're actually going to step away from love, dive more into your finances. For you guys with this energy, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Cancer, or a Gemini. That is popping up big time. Your Jupiter is also in reverse. Don't like that. That shows creative blockages. That shows... You know, opportunities that are being passed by. Even though opportunity, I do feel like what is meant for you will stick to you. And what's not will be let go. But I do feel like there was a pivotal opportunity. It will come back again at a later date. But this was the beginning of an opportunity for lifelong, like, stability. Okay? But something involving interpersonal hindered that. Whether it was energy that was given too much of. Whether it was a conflict of interest, there was something, something very pivotal where it's like, dude, this kind of really balanced things out and now I have to figure it out again. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, this stone for you guys this week is going to be moonstone. I feel like moonstone will be a good stone for you this week or ruby zozite. Okay, Ruby Zoze is dealing with the heart chakra. It's allowing things to really like open up, show you the path. I feel like hematite as well. Hematite is an attractant to prosperity, abundance. Um, it's also great with money workings, things of that nature. Okay, so those are the stones that I would recommend for you guys. 
life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. I, I mean, I, I can't. I can't make that shit up. Like, hot dog water vibes. Like, cannot make that up. Cannot make it up. Alright. Tauruses. Tauruses. I only got a few left. If you do not hear your sign, I have already done it or it is not done yet. I will end at Leo this week. Okay? Leo this week is my ending uh, sign. If you like, you're more than welcome to catch any of the replays over on my YouTube, okay? I will have it timestamped as soon as it's able to download and I can transfer it over, okay? So you don't have to hear me blab the whole time to get to your sign. You can just hop right over there, but that's what it is. If you like me, you can always follow me here. If you like me more, check out my other platforms. It's always good to follow your creators in different platforms, things of that nature. Um, shit, we're on Tauruses. All right. Ooh, I like that. Tauruses, you are coming up to a huge choice. This is involving somebody that you have had a relation with. And I feel like this is also involving some financial. Okay? So, lover's card. First thing that came up. That's a choice. That could also be dealing with an interpersonal relationship. But lover's is a choice card for me. Okay? This is about choosing yourself and your well-being over what other people are assuming or thinking. Okay? Because I feel for some of you Tauruses, you've kind of been in this really recluse state. Um, Your guys' is stubbornness has really gotten the best of you and i feel like it's really slowed some progress down this week you're going to get bitch slapped in the face with reality okay calls it what it is you are going to get bitch slapped in the face with reality this week tauruses whether this is you know you really have this potential can you get out of this stubborn ass energy you know if this is not done you you will be let go of this situation this is something that's going to now be, it already was out of your control, but this is something that now spirit or the universe is coming in and they're kicking you in the nutsack for it. Sorry, Tauruses, it is what it is. Because this unbalance is not serving you. You're losing more than you are gaining these past couple months. And now it's time to get back into this energy and start filling cups. There's this growth, there's this expansion, there's this understanding of self, but you have to get up and get to the grind, Tauruses. There is something going on where it's like, you'll do the basics, but that's it. That's it. Stubborn, 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 stubborn. Not a fan, okay? Like, I'm, I'm not. This is involving the heart space. If you feel like you are about to lose somebody very pivotal or important in your life, your intuition is not far off. They are tired of the bullshit. They're tired of trying to open up to someone or something that is not being receptive. Even though internally, Tauruses, you guys love this person. Or you love this situation. It's the mindset. Alright, Tauruses? Because the world's in reverse. Not a fan. That's imbalance. That's things that are just not aligning with you. This no new beginning you're sitting in the past these are heart spaces these are stresses these are the things going on in the 3d and you are just not in control of them and that's okay not you're not meant to be and i feel like that's where the free flow has to come this week for you guys okay it's not all bad and i don't mean to ranch you you know and i can already hear i can literally hear the eye roll of the tauruses where it's like bitch please you don't know me yeah yeah i do okay yeah, I do. And I know that this energy is no longer serving you. You have new beginnings ahead. Sevens are in place. This is a career change. This is an opportunity. This is coming back into balance. But I feel like love-wise, you're letting go. Mindset. These things. But this, this came out jabberwocky. Okay, this came out like wee, wee, wee. hot dog water vibey. You could be letting go of somebody dealing with a relationship or a very, very strong friendship. You're going with defenses, swords. That's about movement. It's planning, going in. 
pay attention to your pentacles as well. Save your money, Tauruses, if you can. Because I feel like there's something going on with your finances too. And it's like a sinking ship. If you need to let go of something this week, let go of it to help you. Okay? Your balance is off. Big time. Big freaking time this week. I'm actually like, I feel bad. I kind of want to give Tauruses a hug. Um, but I do, I feel like there is going to be some imbalance this week. You are going to, by the end of the weekend, I feel like there's going to be a truth revealed. You're going to step more into your, you know, energy of getting things done, allowing things to flow, but you cannot control everything, Tauruses. And I feel like that's something that spirit's really screaming at me right now to tell you guys, you cannot control everything. Sometimes things fall and that's just okay. It wasn't meant for you. Things fall. You have the haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So if some of you guys, you know, have thrown those little shady shades, expect it back. Positive begets positive, negative begets negative. Pay attention to the karma. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Lessons are learned this week, Tauruses. It's about growing. It's about expanding. Broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. I mean, can't, I, I can't, they, they fall out how they fall out, you know? I can't make it up, man. August was a pivotal month for you. You could have dealt with the Leo energy as well. May, May will also be a huge month for you. Transition, growth, fives could be very pivotal for you. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Sagittarius is coming up. You are also coming up, Taurus. So, that is your energy also popping up in your spread. There's growth. There's this opportunity. But you are not looking into this heart space. This is a very, well, this is a very uh, assertive energy. Bye. I love you. Have a great day. Give the kids a kiss for me. I hope everything's well. I hope the wife's good. I hope you're good. I hope work's good. Love you. So, yeah, Taurus is not really a fan of this. This is acceptance is a key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Heart space. Third eye. That's opening up the third eye, but look at those. Those are two very, very strong chakras that need to be focused on this week for you guys, Tauruses. Pay attention to your third eye. Pay attention to your heart chakra. It's time to heal. It's time to grow. Smoky quartz is going to be pivotal for you guys, okay? Smoky quartz. That is like a freaking detox for the, the body, okay? It is. It is. Smoky Quartz is going to be very, very beneficial for you guys. All right? So that is what I have for you. We are diving into Gemini energy. Gemmy Gems. Gemmy, you guys are so focused on love right now. You are trying to not give up some heart space. There's still hindrances, walls, but you are falling for something or someone harder than you expected. This is someone that you really are starting to see a future with. This is someone that's really affecting the hard space. You're enjoying time. You're enjoying company. Okay? Um, but I do feel like this person is not going to be one that stays. Okay? This is a lesson. This is a healing relationship, and this is a reminder type of situation. Okay? Okay? This is one where learning is going to be needed um, as far as your boundaries, your balances, things coming into fruition for you. I feel like for you as well, you're going to, with this person, place or thing, you are really trying to stay as much in the moment as you can, but you cannot help the emotions that are coming up. Geminis, it's okay to love somebody and embrace it. Just understand that this could be an energy that's not staying. I shuffled and this card came out again. There's going to be a walking away in this situation. Fives are also pivotal because there's some sort of deceit or maybe a misunderstanding when it comes to this conflicting energy, okay? Um, hold on a second. My best advice for someone who's grieving. I am going to be 100% honest with you and I am not a medical professional or anything else. Um, 
one, always accept the fact that your steps are going to be fucking all over the place. There is no such thing as real steps of grieving in the sense of one, two, three, four. Sometimes you feel like one, sometimes you're at step five, sometimes you're at step eight. Allow your grief to be natural. Do not let anybody tell you how to grieve. That is a big one. Um, when I was going through a very traumatic experience, grieving, sudden loss, um, this was having to deal with somebody who, um, unalived, very suddenly and on their own accord, um, I actually did seek out local bereave bereavement counseling. That is specifically for grief. It is not for, oh, let's enter bereavement counseling is something I will always suggest to somebody for grieving journaling writing things of that nature okay that is my advice for grieving I again I am not a medical professional at all um I, I am not but I do feel like that is something that we all should be very understanding and compassionate for little do you guys know I was actually going to school to be a mortuary to be a mortician so that's something that's very close to my heart okay like i'm being honest it, it really is um yeah but bereavement counseling is a big one for me that and i will suggest that to anybody you can find a lot of those local um they're free i i ended up being very blessed um there is if you're in michigan it's called angela hospice um and they actually do have a bereavement counselor department like counseling department on site and you can come in from anywhere in the community okay so i don't know if she's still there but her name was miss sherry amazing woman all right gemini that must be for you too so some of you guys could be feeling very like i missed you too i feel like some of you guys could be grieving a situation too there could have been a loss as well lovers in reverse Choices made, letting go, the tower, the tower. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. I appreciate that I actually had a little bit of knowledge to answer. But just always allow the process. Tower moments, Geminis. That's going through the things that are no longer serving you. There's growth. You could be dealing with the Cancerian energy or that's when the energy really shifted was in July, okay? But this tower moment, you're gonna rebuild. You're opening up a lot of things for expansion. There's growth. There's all these things that are coming into fruition for you. Pay attention to your finances, Jemmies. That is something I will say, pay attention to. If you guys are about to go into a roommate situation or there's some sort of codependent living, definitely pay attention to your finances. Save more than you expect, okay? Because there is going to be a walking away, a sudden walking away, and it could be very unexpected. So more responsibility could be placed on your shoulders, all right? You're walking away, though. There's new beginnings. This is grief. This is, you know, anxieties. This is stresses. This is the fears. All of those things you are going to be taking with you in this process, but as you do, and make each turn into this new beginning, you are letting go. It is going to take some time. It's going to take some patience, Geminis. Be freaking kind to yourself, please. Be kind to yourself, Geminis. Sometimes what is, you know, sometimes we meet these energies or we run into them. And at the end of the day, it's not what we do. It's not anything other than the fact that it just, the energy didn't align. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay, I am so sorry for your loss, sweetheart. So, so sorry. <clears throat> Gemini, pay attention to your Mercury placements. All right, there is something very pivotal when it's coming to your Mercury placements. You could have fire or water, but I feel like you could also be dealing with one of these signs, fire or water signs, when it's coming to this roommate and... and to, blah, 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 blah. This this situation this relationship all right i'm not because it's not feeling very loveries but at the same time it's not feeling like it's a complete detachment either maybe friends with benefits again roommates like very acquaintancy energy okay like that's kind of what i'm feeling for you so pay attention to your fire and water signs around you or if that's somebody that you are dealing with pay attention to that be prepared for a walking away you're successfully going to be overcoming something but in the end there is going to be a situation where disappointment is going to arise 
It says disappointment and some unfair. I feel like that's where that letting go is and that surprise like release is going to be heading your way. I feel like you could already be sensing it a little bit and is making you a little nervous this week, uh, Gemini's. April. April is a pivotal moment for you as well. Pay attention to your fours. If you're seeing a lot of fours, that's what it is. Four, four, four. Okay. I want to pull a love card for you. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. But this is also self-love. This is growth. This is expansion. Okay? So, definitely, definitely pay attention to your surroundings. Save your money. Save it. Save it, save it, save it. Okay? Alright, Cancer. Cancer, cancer. Let's see what cancers are up to. Can I believe it's already 10 o'clock here? It's crazy. Ooh, cancers. You're stepping into your masculine energy. You guys have just... Okay, you guys just left a very toxic situation. All right, Cancers. Um, this is all about leaving, letting go. Um, this could have been dealing with someone that you've been dating in your past or a situation that very had some foggy glasses on. Okay, so what was thought is not what the reality was, but you were letting go of that. That's also letting go of Capricorn energy. So you could have dealt with somebody who was a Capricorn. But it's letting go of the ego. Some of you guys could be letting go of addictions. You could be letting go of someone with ego issues. Um, you could also be releasing the ego yourself. All right? Because you're stepping into this masculine energy. You are going into your own. You're diving into this. I mean, you got two very, very strong masculine energies in your spread already. So you're diving into more of where do I got to go from here and how the hell do I got to get there? Okay, there is no love. You walked away from whatever cups you were trying to fill, all right? Because you had some sort of pivotal moment, I would say, within the past week where you're like, oh, shit. Shit. I have fulfilled. I have been filling all these cups, all these cups, all these cups. I feel for some of you guys, you even made a big move or, like, transition. Like, you left home. You left stability and things that you knew for this person or this this situation okay but you're walking away from it you're realizing that they're not filling the cups either they're not filling their own cups they expect you to fill the cups and you just don't have the energy for it anymore there was a lie that was revealed whether this was one or this feeling of not being appreciated not feeling like someone was truly grateful for your time and energy in your heart Okay, this person actually is very conflicting for you guys, Cancers. This is someone that you are not aligning with. This person had a mask. This was every time that shit hit the fan, they always swooped you back in. Hook, line, and sinker. Because they knew where to affect your heart space. Okay, there could be kids involved in this situation. There could also be a sense of just childlike behavior. Okay, somebody was not looking at those cups being filled it was all about those cups that were falling and like i said you're walking away from it you are finding your own cups at this point cancers by the weekend i feel like you guys are going to be stepping into this energy of filling your own cups letting things grow you have new beginnings ahead i feel for some of you guys now the new beginning is trying to get back to where you feel like home all right threes are very pivotal in your spread so are sixes there's a lot of sixes also going on. Take this as a lesson, okay? This came out sideways. So this can go either way, all right? For some of you cancers, you could go back to the situation in the hopes of and the same result is going to happen at a later date, all right? This is a cycle. This is a situation where it's same problem, different face. Life lesson, karmic lesson, things that you no longer need to carry with you onto the next phase. Okay, so really pay attention to where your heart's lying right now and why your intentions are. Is it out of fear? Is it out of the true genuine want? Cancers, it shows another walking away. You're going to be walking away from this. Okay, communication is not there. Um, 
this is a very like I'm not gonna say hostile situation but this is one where it really threw you for a loop because you had expectations there was true hope and genuineness when it comes to this situation all right you put a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of work into this okay transformation your relationship is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things I feel like that right now is for you you need to transform you and the love that is meant will come in um, if you guys are dealing with more than one energy there could be one that is actually truly meant and the other one is a lesson you have to decide with your heart space which one is which okay but transformation for me, that's about you. That's you transforming, going into your energy, putting yourself into a, a really night, beautiful king energy where it's like, I am not going to step into my shell. I am going to open up and I'm going to keep going because I persevere. Just as the crab adapts, so are you. Okay, forest, muddled, unclear thinking, going in that head, going in that heart space. The forest also brings nature to you. So if you're feeling grounded or you feel very ungrounded, go step outside. Go ground yourself with Mother Earth. I feel like that's really going to help you. Sevens are a big pivotal. July is also one. November. That's Sagittarian energy. But I feel in November, you are going to reach out or you are going to find something very pivotal for you in November. This can be a person coming in from your past. Um, you could also be reaching out to a person in your past, someone that you really felt was meant for you. Okay, but this current energy that you're in is not serving you guys cancers. It's just not. And this is not Mercury retrograde energy. This is something that's lingered for a while. And you've given hope and you've given time and you've given hope and you've given time. And it's like you are literally getting these same freaking results. Same results. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Pay attention to your money. Pay attention to your money. That one keeps on popping out. There we go. Star, guaranteed success. When you put yourself in your star power, you will succeed. You will grow. You will expand. Okay? Libra energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with Libras. Scorpio energy is also popping up. So is Taurus energy. So if you have those placements or you are dealing with someone with those placements, this message is for you involving the weekly horoscopes. I feel like Scorpio energy, that's also diving into emotions. That's sexual tension as well. Okay. All right. Last but not least, we have our Leos. Leo, Leo, Leo. What are we doing for our Leos this week? I hope everybody is well. So let me dive right in. Leos. Leo. Oh, my God. Okay, Leo. Ooh. You have new beginnings ahead. You're going to be walking away from a situation that's no longer serving you as well. I feel like this is dealing with a person. Okay? Uh, this is an energy that you've really been hopeful about opening up to. You have love for this situation, but you're realizing that right now you need to fill your own cups. This is involving career and life path. Okay? Um, I also feel like this cups is also feeling, the, feeling out the past. Okay, you're really stepping into your own. You're really opening up. You're allowing these things to happen the way that they're meant to happen. And you're getting your fucking ten of cups. You are getting your wish fulfillment when it's involving your balance and your stability. This was not just a job change. This was a career change. This was something that actually you are very gifted and talented in and you didn't even know that you were. It's a whole new skill, out of the realm, nothing that you've experienced. And you are not only just embracing it, you are blowing this shit out of the water. It is amazing. Sun energy, that's really the last card that you guys got was freaking sun energy. You're going into your peace. You're going into your fruition. Things are going to be balancing out for you. Keep manifesting the positive when it comes to your stability and career. For some of you guys, be prepared for a house or a move. Um, hello, how are you, Loki? Um, but I do, I feel like there's going to be a big move for you guys. And this is like a life move. This is one where I feel like some of you guys could actually be purchasing. 
um, a home, some land, things of that nature. Like balance is really coming in. That energy that you're walking away from, you can't help no more. It doesn't serve you. And I feel like you've been helping to the point that in the past it was very detrimental. I miss you too. I do though. I feel like this Leo energy is so detri was detrimental for you, Leos. Um, sorry, not Leo energy, but you know what I mean. Um, because you were giving a lot of your own. You were stepping out, and for some of you guys, you were even financially draining yourself to help this person, place, or thing. Okay. Um, and you're letting go of that. You're not allowing those things to happen. And I feel like Leos, you're stepping back into your confidence. I fucking love this energy. Love it. You have Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start changing, going for the up. But just as cycles change, just know, bring your heart space with you. Not everything has to be masculine, but go into that Empress energy. You have both of those. You have a beautiful balance that is coming in for you guys this week, Leos. Take your confidence. Confidence is not always arrogance, okay? There is nothing wrong, Leos, with feeling good about the work that you have put into this situation because it's growing for you. This is an energy that is literally growing for you. This is not involving somebody. This is you. This is your self-confidence. This is your worth. This is your openness. You did miss Pisces. I will have it up this afternoon over on my YouTube, and it will be timestamped, okay? December. December is a very big month for you guys, Leos big month for you that's also involving transition growth moving on where did that go i just it like screamed out at me and then it just there it is okay i'm like it freaking popped in popped back out popped in all right so you also received the sun card you have two sun cards that's happiness that's well-being that's going into your balance that's opening up allowing things to really fall the way that they're meant to fall I really, really feel like you are going to expand. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody. If you're walking away from a person, I feel like you're going to meet somebody who's aligning with you way more energetically than this past situation. Person, place, or thing. There could even be a feeling of like a, an attachment. But I'm just going to call it what it is. I feel like there's a little bit of codependency, Leo. A little bit of things from the past, whether these are abandonment issues, whether this is codependent to help the top. It seems like to help the toxic ones is just the way that it is sometimes. It's a karmic lesson for both of you. This is a lesson for both parties. One will lose and one will gain. Okay. Broken ring. Parting the ways in either romance or business. That, that's a ring that cannot be resoldered. Okay? It's still involving your heart. You love this. You you know this. I feel like even when you... I feel like even to a point for some of you Leos, it's to a point of obsession. And it, it cannot be a bad... You know, obsession isn't always horrible, but this is one where it's like it's in your head all the freaking time. Well, this, 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 and this. Sometimes we tell ourselves what signs are and we will literally alter state. Like, okay, perfect example. If I'm in a funky funk, okay, I will go on YouTube. And I, you know, I, of course, I've subscribed to some creators and things like that as well. You know, I enjoy readings just as much as you guys. Hello. Um, But my, like, for you will align with how I'm feeling. Oh, that bitch is crazy. Oh, this. And I feel like that's the energy, Leos, that is popping up for you guys. Where it's like, you are seeing so many synchronicities, but you're also altering it. Okay? Pay attention. Let go and see what comes into fruition then. And if you're seeing things that are over and over and over and over again, they're meant for you. Stop ignoring the signal or stop placing the title on something else besides yourself. Listen to yourself. I don't know why I had to do that, but I just, like, I got totally, like, Leo's. It might not be in the, meant for that situation. That's a sign for you. I cannot believe that this just came up. Be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like is also a reflection. Pay attention to your energies. If you feel in hot dog water vibes, it's because you're sending them out. And vice versa. But this, this walking away, this situation, it, it's coming whether, I mean, I'll just call it what it is. Universe is going to, universe got jokes, man. 
They really do. And sometimes if we force ourselves to stay and force ourselves to believe, the universe will come in and bitch slap us right off of our chair and go, do you want a cookie? Do you? Do you want a cookie? Because you're, you're hot dog water vibes. You, you, you got these hot dog water vibe ass and you need to get out of the pot. Okay? That's, that's like legit. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that that resonates. Taurus energy popped up. I want to see what other energies are popping up because I'm nosy. I'm nosy nosy. Uranus is a big one for you. Aquarius is also popping up for you guys as well. All right. Ooh, Capricorn energy. That is the second Cappy energy for you. All right. In your um, placement as well. Pluto is also popping up. That's Cancerian and Venus. That is involving love. That is involving relationships. That is also involving like the things dealing with your 3D interpersonal. <sighs> okay. I am sorry, guys. But justice will be served. You will find a balance again. And I'm telling you, this energy that you keep latching on to, it, it, if it doesn't shift, it's not meant for you. And universe is going to is gonna kind of slap you. Going to kind of slap you that by the end of the next week, man. Your truth is going to be revealed. So... That is what I have for you guys this week. I hope that you enjoyed the weekly horoscopes. I will come back on Wednesday next week and we will rock it out in the morning. If you like me, please like and follow me here. If you like me more, go check out my other platforms. Um, I do have some uh, individual reads that are available right now, some private readings. Um, I do only have a limited availability left here for September. I will be taking appointments in October. Um, also, I do do free individual reads between here and on Facebook. Um, I also just got approved for YouTube. So hopefully I will be going live on YouTube by next week. I want to get some things set up on um, all my replays or over on my YouTube channel. I also put up some videos involving the elements and retrograde, kind of the emotions and what we're going to be feeling from now till October 2nd involving Mercury. Okay? So... Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful, magical Wednesday. And I will catch you guys either this afternoon on Facebook or I will catch you guys tomorrow night here on TikTok for free readings. All right? I love you guys. Have a great day.